Hi, thanks for sharing your plan. <clears throat> I'm going to turn off the show sheet. Where is that? Oh, this is X12, by the way. It's not Pro, but I'll set it up so that it can be edited in Pro. Where's show sheet? Where is that icon? There it is. And I don't use the grid. I'll turn those off. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. I haven't looked at this before, so it's this video, like most of my videos, is going to be extemporaneous. That means without malice and forethought. Okay. Yeah, there's that gap there, and that's caused by the overhang being spaced out here instead of over here. See, so you, you probably have that set to uh, box D's. Yeah, good. <coughs> now, in terms of these gaps, let's go to a elevation camera. Let's see, where is that? Over here, I guess. Just double click on this one. Yeah, okay. See, when you click on a wall and then hit, uh, oh, I see that you used a box, a bay, a bay, box bay window, box window specifications. And you got a box down here. <clears throat> There's a gap in between. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Let's see what we can do. Uh, I'm just going to grab this one and pull the edge up to see if I can close the gap. That did not work. Okay. I'm going to click on this one and pull the gap down. See if that, well, that's, that's not really working either. Okay. Well, let's build framing then. Uh, no, I don't want to go to edit. No, build <coughs> framing, build framing. And in this case, I'm just going to build wall framing. Just on a hunch. That didn't help. I want to make sure that framing is, wall framing is turned on. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, for you guys who hate, hate it when I uh, clear my throat and stuff, um, 73 years old, I got COPD, and so I get lots of phlegm, and I'm sorry about it, but I have to do it in order to keep, stay alive and to communicate. So that's my apology, or, or at least my justification. Let's see, I want to go to framing, framing wall, make sure that that's turned on. Framing labels, framing, there's a lot of framing layers. Framing wall, okay, it's on. Let's try, uh, let's build floor framing then. I'm gonna go over to build framing, build framing. And uh, we'll build, uh, I wanna build the subfloor for floor two and the ceiling framing. See if that will fill that in. Bingo, that's ugly. <laughs> But it's filled in. <coughs> Excuse me. Over here. Okay, obviously the framing layers aren't turned on in this camera view. So uh, there's a different display options for each camera and also another one for, uh, <coughs> excuse me, plan view. So uh, where's the display options? We'll go to tools. Way options. Yeah, see it. Framing's not on. Of course, I don't think framing's gonna not gonna solve the thing. Okay, you can see the some of the framing there. I, I want the rim joists that are. Maybe I, that's not on a separate layer. <coughs> Excuse me, framing, wall bridging. 
I don't think there is any. Oh, that's right. There's no wall, wall bridging. I haven't built any sill plates. Yeah, I don't care about roof rafter. Rim joists. Yeah, sure enough, it was turned off. Okay, don't need framing labels. Floor joists is on. Let's turn that on too. Okay, it's filled in, but it's sticking out. Now, probably for, that's probably from uh, your settings being off. And I'm going to go to uh, <clears throat> Plan View and turn on Rim Joists. I usually have an icon here. I don't see it. I'm going to have to go to the old-fashioned way to get the display options this way. Okay, I want, <clears throat> see, this is a different one, and the framing's not all turned on in the uh, layer display option for uh, plan view. So let's turn that on. I don't want that. I want ri this rim joist. I think that's the only one I need, cosmetically speaking. <clears throat> Here it is, rim joist. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, you, you can see that they turned on, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, looks like these things are, uh, okay, there's a rim joist right there. And it looks proper in plan view, but it doesn't look proper in these camera views. Yeah, that is sticking out. <coughs> <clears throat> I'm going to delete those outer ones because they stick out too much. And those stick out beyond the wall. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is just take the painter and paint those. I'm left clicking on them with the eyedropper setting to get the... That doesn't, that doesn't look too bad. It's better than a hole in the wall. But let's see what else we can do. I'm going to go over here and hit the tab key. There's that thing there. And I'm getting the window. I want to just, okay. You can't do this in Pro, but I can do it in, in uh, Chief Architect. That's the reason I use it instead of Pro. But anyway, I'm going to go over here to, again, Display Options. I actually. What I want is, uh, well, I need to fix my toolbars. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna, well, okay. I guess I'll just have to do it this way since I can't find the icon. I'm gonna change the set to, you don't have this feature in uh, Pro, but I'm going to turn all the layers off and uh, then I'm going to turn sill plates on. <laughs> and probably you have to just do it all manually, turn the layers on and off that you that you want. Well, I don't see anything. There's some framing. I'm going to turn the reference display on so I can see where it's supposed to be. Let's uh, go up a floor. Well, huh. Let me find out what layers that's on. Just click on that and open the dialog box on it and find out what layer it's on. Framing ceiling joists. Okay. That's why I can't see them. <clears throat> so in this all offset, I'm going to turn on ceiling joists. Uh, framing... Looking for ceiling joists. There we go. Okay. I'm going to turn the reference display off. And I can, I can see that junk. See, that one's sticking out too much. And uh, I'm going to take these and delete them. This is kind of ridic ridiculously overframed. And that one, I don't think I need. 
And I'm going to take these and marquee select them, and I'm going to move them <clears throat> to the right. Oh, you got this in millimeters. Okay. Uh, boy, am I ever not a millimeter guy. <laughs> I'm going to do it uh, minus uh, 25. Oops, that looks like I went the wrong direction. Let me undo that. Yeah. I'm, now I'm going to do it 25 millimeters. I just wanted to move to the right and it did this time. That one I don't think I need. Let's go back to the camera. It's looking better. It's still sticking out some. So I, I'm going to click on that one, that one. I'm holding the shift key down to select all, all the whole group. And now I'm going to move those another 30 millimeters. That's looking better. You get the idea? I know this is kind of a pain, but I never use this, this bow window. I hate that tool. I just draw the little wall segments uh, manually, but that's another, another story for another time. I'm going to shift select those again. And again, you transform, replicate, move those another 20 millimeters. Okay, that's beginning to get re look a reasonably bit better. I'm going to click on that one and move that one in 10 millimeters. That's better. Now I'm going to take the uh, eyedropper and uh, put the material back on those framing pieces. That needs to go in a little bit more. Let me click on that one and we'll do that one another 10 millimeters. Well, you get the idea if you, if you use metric all the time, it's probably easier to get this right. I'm going to click on that and uh, minus five. <laughs> okay, but you see what I'm doing. I'm just using the framing objects to fill in those holes there. I think that one's just too long. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> okay, that's not great, but it's better than nothing. Let's see what's get this material and put it on there. And that needs to go in about 20, 30 millimeters. Okay, so that, that's one way to fix it. Another way to fix it, now I'm gonna turn framing off and you'll see it disappear. Uh, you know, there's usually more than one way to fix something. And uh, so I'm going to show you another method. I'm just going to turn off framing. And that's framing ceiling joists, which will, oh, maybe it's rim joists that I took. Okay. So many objects, so many layer names, it's hard to remember everything. It's ceiling joists, or is rim joists? Or rim. There we go. I'm going to turn all this stuff off. That was just an attempt to fill in that gap with something kind of automatic. Okay, now we're down to that. Now, what I'm going to do is go back to the uh, regular. Let's see, I have to go over here. And we'll change it to uh, working layer set. I know you don't have layer layer you don't have layer sets in uh, Pro either, but uh, that's one of the reasons I love <laughs> uh, Premiere so much. Now, what I'm going to do is just uh, going to draw a two-dimensional closed polyline here, about like that, and uh, <clears throat> I'm take that and curve it. 
So I'm going to simplify this figure like that and then adjust the arc out. This is another way you can fix, fix anomalies like that. I mean, you know, in a, in a perfect world, we wouldn't ha want to have those anomalies happening in, at all. But Chief Architect and Home Designer software are really great, but they've never been and never, probably never will be absolutely perfect when I get rid of these additional breaks that show up sometimes. Yeah, that's better. But it's still there. Okay, I think that's we got a reasonable facsimile there now. Now with that, I'm going to change it into a. See, I'm going to use a convert object command, and I'm going to turn it into a slab, which is basically just a chunk of concrete like that comes in with concrete on it as a material. Now I'm going to see what the ceiling height is on the first floor which is uh, 25, 24.50. Okay, now I'm gonna get that slab and open its dialog box and tell it to be the uh, bottom height that the ceiling height. Okay, I can kind of see it there. Yeah, now you can see a little bit better. Well, it's, it's being chopped up, I think, by the uh, framing. <clears throat> make, let me make sure that all these framing layers are turned off. That was just an earlier attempt to get a to get a fix, but I think this one with the slab is actually better. Yeah. Tools. Layer display options. Make sure all those framing layers are turned off. I don't know what's causing that. But anyway, again, I'm gonna take the eyedropper and change the concrete to uh, that material. And then we can see this is kind of, let me show you in a vector view camera. You can see there's a segment. It's not really curved. It's segment, 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 segment. So I'm gonna to have to make my uh, slab a little more realistic. I'm gonna click and then hit the tab key until I get it. <clears throat> okay, so what I'm going to do is click on this and make it into a, make it not into an arc. Yeah, I'm just going to delete that and start over. Uh, again, I'm going to start with just a poly, a closed polyline. Put it right there. And what I'm going to do is try to follow the uh, segments in the wall here. So I'm going to put one here, one here. If somebody knows an easier method, you're welcome to chime in. Put a break, put a break there. It's not breaking. So you have to be, there I got, finally got it. You have to persist until you get the break that you want. There we go, that there. I think maybe this will fit better. And now we'll convert that to a slab. And I'm gonna put it at ceiling height level. Okay, there it is. It's a little bit closer. In plan view, I need to turn that framing off too. I keep selecting it instead of what I want to, what I want to work on. <clears throat> so, see, there's a different display option for plan view and there's a, a display option for each camera type. 
Okay, those, those gadgets disappeared now. Now I can, can kind of see wh where I'm doing. See, there's that edge. This needs to go out right to the edge of that wall. So we just want this polyline that I created or slab to match relatively closely the wall. I think this needs to be uh, parallel perpendicular to, some, to the wall. <clears throat> I think that needs to come out. You can see the edge of the wall and you just make your figure kind of match the wall, but not the window. It, boy, it's kind of hard to see there. Well, let's look at it in the, uh, well, it's still goofy. Well, I can make it thicker. That'll probably help. That looks better already. Now it's a little bit off here, you can see. Get the eyedropper. Yeah, it's way off over here. It's pretty close here. But when you put two uh, windows, these bay windows on top of each other, it causes that anomaly. That's the reason I don't use that tool because I don't like to do things like this, but you have to do something about it. Okay, here's the wall edge. That's where I was way off. There's the wall edge. Oh uh, yeah, this is way out. Look at it, it goes all the way out there. It's still not perfect, but it should be quite a bit closer. Now we'll go back to, uh, with a, a vector view camera, you're gonna see all the lines. So that's a pretty good fix with a, a custom slab. I don't know what that looks like from the inside. Let's take a look. I don't need this anymore. I don't know that hopefully it doesn't cause problems on the inside. I don't know. Okay, it looks okay. Let's go up a floor. I think that's this roof. Okay, that's a pretty good fix for that. Now what I was saying on, uh, let's see, where's the rest of that junk? <clears throat> oh yeah, okay. Man, what a goofy looking roof. <laughs> Sorry, it's not personal. I'm just saying as a structure that's kind of strange looking. Anyway, there's a couple things you can try here. I, I know I, I said, well, Polyline solid you can't create in pro, so that's not really a solution. So let's take a look at this and see what maybe will work. And I, at this point, I've never had this particular problem, so I don't, oh, here's the uh, big time over, overhang. And uh, <clears throat> you can see it's normally on houses, uh, the overhang is symmetric. And on this house, if not, it's symmetric here, here, but not here. So what I'm going to do is uh, click on the roof plane and then use the break line tool. I'm going to break it right there at the edge of the window. Uh, you probably had auto rebuild roofs on. Okay, it's not on now. I'm going to put a break on the other side. I'm, I'm just going to try this. I, I don't know if it'll work or not. Where's it? There it is. Put a break line right on the other side. What I want to do is by breaking those segments up is maybe I can program this segment different from the other segments. That's my hope anyway. See, it's marked box eaves, but and it says default to overhang, but the, this, isn't, this doesn't have a regular overhang on it. So, <clears throat> 
I'm just going to leave it at zero millimeters and then take a look. Okay, that didn't do anything. I didn't think that it would. That's 775. So we'll go over here to options and uh, change it to 775. And take a look. Ah, look at that. See, we've got a hip side over here, so that's that's your solution. Now, you probably don't need to put the brakes. Let me get rid of those. I don't want to confuse you. Let's get rid of those brakes, and I'm not going to drag them to the corner. And then open this without the brakes in it, and go to options, and 775, and see if that holds. Okay, it did hold. All right. You got it? I mean, like I said, Home Designer and Chief Architect Premier are not, are very, very excellent programs, but they're not perfect. And sometimes you have to just be creative, to come up with a workable solution. And there's usually more than one way to do so. Thank you, I hope this helps you. If it doesn't, we'll have a good day anyway.